Please please question. Can you identify this? This is diaphragm. Okay. This is diaphragm. This looks like, you know, the cap that soldiers used to wear. Because of which it is also known as, again the MCQ starting with the Dutch cap. So, when you take the diaphragm in hand, as you can see, inside you will find a concavity and in that concavity you can keep the spermicide and then with the help of your fingers, as you see in this picture, you can push it inside the vagina and then it will reach the cervix and you can keep it like this. Okay, this is how you keep diaphragm. Next MCQ. See, after intercourse you have to keep it for around six hours for the spermicide to properly act but don't forget to take it out if you keep it for more than 12 hours it can lead to another condition which is known as that is an xmcq toxic shock syndrome caused by staphylococcus okay then can you identify this this looks somewhat like diaphragm but it's not diaphragm it's thicker than diaphragm, it's softer than diaphragm and you will also find a loop like this. So what is it? This is vaginal sponge. So this is vaginal sponge. Okay, so this is vaginal sponge. Now, how to use it? Guys, in this particular picture, I'm trying to show you or with the help of this picture, I'm trying to give you two MCQs. One, which is the commercial product that is available that is today you might have heard about it today you see vaginal sponge that is available under the market okay or in the market and it contains a chemical that is an xmcq nonoxinol 9 is the chemical are you seeing that is an xmcq nonoxinol 9 thousand milligram now I'll tell you how to use it. So this nonoxinol 9 is like a spermicide. Okay, it's a spermicide. It has got surfactant action. So what you have to do first is you take the vaginal sponge out. Then as you see in this picture, you have to add some water. Okay, and make it moist. So that this, you know, the, the chemical will act as a surfactant. Then you have to squeeze out the excess water. Thereafter, as you see, in this particular picture, you can keep the vaginal sponge over the cervix. Okay. And this should also remain there for 6 hours. 